Well, her plant, she doesn't know anything because my plant's never done that. Ugh. You know how you act like you're better than everybody. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. I feel like it's been a long time since I put up a video. Um, I think I've been just putting one up on Sundays lately. I just don't have the time on the weekends lately. I've been having other things to do. And then of course after work is usually when I do a lot of plant videos. But of course the sun sets at freaking 5.30 now. So by the time I get home from work and want to do the video, the sun is just, it's non-existent. I can't, I don't really have light to work with. And I only use, you know, the window as my lighting. Maybe I'll buy some lights this winter because I really like doing plant videos and I miss putting them up all the time, but I just don't have, you know, the resources right now because the sun ain't working with me. But anyway, I wanted to talk about some plants today that are growing so weird and it's kind of like some of them look really cool and some of them I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Let's get it together. Uh, so I'm surrounded by some weirdos today. A few of these I've already shown. I mean, I've shown pretty much all of my plants at this point, but I thought it'd be a fun video to just show some weirdo looking plants. So first one, I mean, I think we all saw this one coming. This, this poor plant, oh my God, this plant never gets any love on my channel because I'm always just talking crap about it. It's the Philodendron Pariso Verde, okay? Look how this plant is growing. It doesn't know what it wants. It doesn't have any direction in its life. It's right next to the window, so you would think all the leaves would be trying to bend to the window. But look, look at that leaf. It's curving all the way around this way. What is it doing with its life? And then there's this one bending that way. This one is curving this way. Let's get a look, let's get an aerial view of this, this plant here. I mean, look how the leaves are growing. This plant has no direction in its life. It's also putting out a new leaf right here, which is very cool, but it's also growing that way. I have no idea. Um, I mean, but plants will do this. You know, obviously this plant wants light and it's right next to the window. I really should put it, you know where I wanna move this? To right under the skylight. I think if I move it there, all the, the stems might face up or maybe all the leaves will start facing in the right direction because right now this plant is just going everywhere. It takes up a lot of space because it just has a mind of its own. But plants will do that. They're going to adapt to the environment that you put them in. And if you put them next to a window, it's going to let you know that it doesn't like it by growing like this. I guess I could like tie it up or something, but then I feel like the whole thing will lean. And although this plant takes up a lot of space and it's very crazy looking and it's not really my favorite and I do regret buying it, it's kind of cool now, you know, now that it's growing all wacky. It's kind of cool. I guess I didn't even show you the leaves. So they have these beautiful variegated leaves. Uh, there aren't a lot of variegated leaves left on the plant. Uh, or the variegation comes in really, really faint and then it kind of fades away very quickly. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the best looking variegated leaf that's on here. Uh, not my favorite. Do regret buying it. But, you know, it's fine. I feel like this plant eventually is going to grow on me. Like we're gonna have a really love-hate relationship where it's like, I can't let it go because I hate it so much. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, this is the first one. Why is he growing like that? The world will never know. This one here is one that's growing weird, but I love it. I love the way this one grows. See, this plant takes up too much space. I need to put it on the floor. Okay, this is a Hoya Carii. I've showed this, I feel like multiple times on my channel already. Um, I bought this online from someone here locally that used to have a plant shop and it was bigger than I expected. I'd never seen a Hoya Carii in real life before, like a full plant. I've only ever seen those single leaves. But I really like the way this one is growing. Uh, it has one long stem here that's very thick. It put out this leaf here and this little baby leaf here. There's a better angle at it. This one and this one. It has this other stem here with these three leaves right here that I love. I just love the way that these three leaves are in this little cluster right here. It hangs right over the table. It looks so cool, but it's just weird, isn't it? I think it's just such a weird little plant. Um, I did buy a Hoya Carii that's right over there from Home Depot recently. And although I like that one, this is the best. This is the best looking one that I have. I just really love how weird it's growing. And I like that this one has a mind of its own as well. It's just, 
he's a cool guy, you know? I do feel like this leaf right here is gonna die. It's just getting a little bit yellow on it. Uh, it's like the best looking leaf on the plant, the one that looks the most heart-shaped. Because the other ones, you know, they're very curved. This one doesn't really look like a heart whatsoever. Just a big, a big dumb weird thing. You're a big dumb weird thing! Anyway, uh, so yeah, this plant, uh, it, it's cool. I really like this one a lot. I feel like Given enough time, this is not gonna look like a Hoya Carii at all, like I'm saying, like th these leaves don't even have the heart shape to them. This is the only leaf here that makes this plant known as a Hoya Carii, but once this leaf dies, no one will ever know what it is again. I mean, I'll know, but other than that, it's kind of losing the Carii characteristics, but I still love it. I still really, really love it, you know? He's my baby, I gotta love him. The next one, this is one that just started growing super weird and it's so strange that it started doing this because I watched um, Ashley Anita uh, do a video on, I think her video was called Expensive Plants That Weren't Worth the Money or something like that. But this is a philodendron called Brentianum. It's beautiful. I mean, look at these leaves. They are just, it looks like a screen printing on them or something like it's like you painted it on. They're so beautiful to look at. And this plant had done really, really well for me for a long time. Uh, my trick to this is never let it dry out. You know, I had one of these before, it quickly died, and I think it's because I was letting it dry out too much between waterings. But now that I don't let it dry out at all anymore, it it's doing great. But it's growing like an actual weed. And I feel like right after I watched her video, uh, it started growing crazy because she was showing hers that looked like this, growing these long, long vines with the tiny leaves. And like, look at this piece here. It's like all curled up on itself right here. Uh, this plant's just growing super wacky. Anyway, I was watching her video and I was like, well, her plant, she doesn't know anything because my plant's never done that. Ugh. You know how you act like you're better than everybody. Anyway, right after I was having those internal thoughts of she doesn't know what she's talking about, my plant was like, oh yeah, lady, I'll show you. And it started growing wacky like this. Really, really viney and just a crazy looking mess. Um, the, to be fair, the plant is leaning towards the window. It sits on a shelf with the windows over off to the side. So kind of the same as that other philodendron I showed. The le It's going to go towards the light, you know? So obviously it's leaning that way. I mean, if I look at it this way, it looks pretty good, right? Uh, but yeah, this is just growing so wacky, but I kind of like it. Gives it some character and it looks great on the shelf that I have it on because it's just so wild looking. But if you have one of these, let me know if yours is doing this too. It took a really long time to get like this. It had stayed really nice for a long time, but I swear it's because the plant heard me talking crap about someone else's plant and it was like, hmm, I'll show you. And then it started doing this, but jokes on you. I like you better like this. Okay, next plant before I lose my mind totally. Okay. Two more to show that I have showed before, obviously. This one here, this is a parachute plant. And this one isn't growing super wacky like the other ones are and like just kind of having a mind of its own. It just has an interesting growth pattern naturally. It's on these really thick vines with these super thick, hard as a rock leaves. And it just grows so cool, like these long tentacles. I just had to show this one again because I enjoy this plant so, so much. I did get very worried about it when I brought it in for the summer because it was doing so well out there. It was just growing and growing and growing. Uh, I did bring it in and immediately a bunch of leaves turned yellow and I was like, oh my God, my baby's gonna die in the house. But uh, I started taking it out every day that it's warm outside so we could get a lot of sun. Um, and it's still doing well, but I, I'm kind of worried about it for the winter. But if you have one of these and you don't keep it outside, let me know. How does it do? Does it die and then regrow? I would love to know your, your care on this plant, but I love it. I think this is a really cool plant. I love these long tentacle like vines that it grows. And it's just, it's just cool. It's just cool. And I had to show it again, you know? But let's get on to an actual one that's growing like a weirdo. This is one I have shown a lot. It's one of my favorite plants. And of course, in a video talking about plants that grow like total weirdos, I have to mention it. I have to mention the philodendron jungle boogie that I have. So 
I didn't buy the plant like this. Uh, it was growing normal. It was just a little plant here, you know, popped out of the pot. But I kept trying to prop it up, but it just never would work out. I would hit the stick all the time. I would tip over the plant all the time. So I finally just let it do whatever it wanted. And this is what it decided to do. I absolutely love this. Uh, no matter how crazy it tends to get and how tangled and weird it looks, I will never cut it. The whole plant is growing on one side of the pot, as you can see. But I think it looks really, really, really cool like this. Uh, I have this one sitting on that bookshelf with the whole plant sticking out of the shelf and I think it looks amazing. I wish I could do this with more of my plants. I kept thinking of doing something like this with my Bobsy. I moved the Bobsy over here because over there on that side of the shelf, it was getting, it's as tall as the ceiling already again. And that top leaf that unfurled got uh, really dry as a bone from the heater. It's right in front of the heater vent and it didn't even occur to me that it was there. But the tip of the new leaf is like all crunchy so I moved it over here. Um, yeah, I gotta cut that plant again soon. Anyway, I have always wanted to, to I would always hope that that one would grow like this because I think it would be so cool. And they do look pretty similar. You know, the leaf here is a little more like a sawtooth, I guess. You know, very, very cool plant. Definitely one of the best looking weird plants that I have. This is a plant I like to refer to as my pride and joy. I think it's so freaking cool. I wish more of my plants would kind of grow wacky like this, but the plant will do this if you don't train it to grow any other way. If you want it to grow straight up, you have to help it grow straight up. And I didn't. I said, you know what? Live your life, do whatever you want with your life. And it was like, fine, I'll be crazy. And I love him like that. But anyway, that is it. Let me know some plants you have that just grow super crazy and weird. I would love to know what they are. I wish YouTube would bring back like video responses and stuff because I, I would like to see your plants. But if you have an Instagram or you follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to send me a picture of your crazy looking plants. My Instagram is linked in the description box below. But anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss my next one, and I will see you later in another video. Goodbye. Now to try to do some more plant videos before I lose all the sunlight for the week. Anyway, goodbye.